I, I noticed you your post today, you, you had the sure to, to prepare for today. How, how are you feeling with the fast and going into this game tonight? So yesterday was the first day of uh, Ramadan, and I actually uh, talked to Hakim. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I talked to Hakim, yeah, uh, I, I texted him, not talked to him, I, I texted him and because uh, uh, I, I, I met him like uh, two years ago and I know what he did and uh, was it I think in 94, 95 when he was, while he was fasting, he won the MVP uh, in, in playoffs. But um, I texted him, he was like, hey, uh, you know, how did you uh, fast during Ramadan and play in a really high le level? And he gave me some tips, you know, he gave me what he was eating when he would wake up like 4 a.m. in the morning, what, uh, what, how much water he was drinking and stuff. It's, it's, uh, he was just, uh, when, when I texted him, he was just very happy and very uh, proud. And we talked a little bit about basketball and stuff. And um, I just, I mean, it's, it's, it's very important, man, because I want to, it doesn't matter what your status is, what your, you know, position is. I just want to set an example for the young uh, generations definitely because it's uh, very important uh, for them to just uh, follow their uh, religion and it's about R Ramadan is like a think about uh, Thanksgiving dinner 30 days in a row so that's how, uh, how big the meals are but it's, it's awesome to just to see to just uh, get a help from a legend so I, I would definitely love to be uh, you know the the new Hakim of the new, new uh, young uh, generations. I imagine that obviously the food and the drink part is difficult enough, but the, the medication piece of it, I'm guessing, is probably probably a little mm -hmm. more difficult to figure out. Well, it was, it's, it's a late game, so the the city of Denver going to break their uh, fast 8:06, and the game is 8 uh, 8:30. So the while uh, I'm playing the game, I'll, I will be able to drink water and uh, eat food, and uh, I might just have someone get some peanut butter and jelly sandwich and on the bench <laughs> for me to just eat in uh, timeouts. But uh, I think it's good, man, because I mean it's it's very important to follow, uh, you know, because uh, I, I grew up in this. You know, I grew up uh, during I start uh, doing Ramadan, uh, probably like nine, ten years old, and I've been doing it since. So I just didn't want to quit. And I, I talked to coach uh, yesterday, and uh, you know, just said uh, he was very respectful and he respected me a lot. And, and they just it just shows me a lot that they seen so much support from my teammates, the coaches, and. All over the league is uh, very important. How are you feeling right now? I feel good. I feel, I feel really good. I think it just uh, it just a mind over matter, man. I think whatever you put in your uh, mind, I think you can do it. I think uh, human bodies are okay, capable of doing uh, so, so much things, but you just have to put that in your mind that you can do it. And how do you feel the team is thinking right now with three games left? Uh, I mean, I mean, like I said, man. Um, we just need to go out there, play hard, uh, play smart, and uh, not worry about anything else. Just worry about us. Just go out there uh, and just give yourself 100%. And um, you know, just uh, like you said, we have three games left in this uh, series. I hope two games left. And because um, I really don't want to come back here again. Uh, but uh, just go out there and, ju and just uh, just stay together, man. That's the most important thing. Are you surprised? The energy the Nuggets showed in Game Four after that classic Game Three. I actually was yes because I thought they were going to be a little, little more tired, but I think uh, you know they did show a, a lot of energy. But I think I think we just need to match their energy and be even uh, more energetic than them. I just need, like I said tonight's uh, uh, we got to treat tonight. It's like Game Seven. Talked about throughout the series, one be better is rebounding. Going back and looking at Game Four, have you figured out some things that maybe you didn't know from the first three games that you can do better? Yes. Uh, well, I think that we, we just talk about the, in a locker room the second chance points is very important. So they have 72 uh, second chance points. We have 72. Uh, we have 70 uh, second chance points. I think uh, the whole series they have. 464 points and we have 462 points. So these are really, really two, really similar two teams. So we, like I said, it's just a little th details that really matter. So just go out there, box out, and just um, do your job. How much of that is this technical skills of boxing out, getting higher, and how much of it is effort? But, I mean, it, it is a lot of his effort because I'm obviously, you know, Jokic, Paul Millsap, or even like the, you know, the, the, the wings, they all crash the board. So we just need, it's not just uh, the big man's job, it's everybody's job to just turn around and box their man and just uh, go, go get the rebound.
You mentioned you can drink water and eat a half hour before tip. Is that the same? What we're talking about medicine. Can you start taking medicine a half hour before? I took medicine around like 4 a.m. in the morning, and I will take a medicine right before the game because I can break my fast before the game. But I'll be fine. As you said, you thanked God and painkillers after that last win, so I figured they'd be important again. So the God, God is number one, and He's been helping me a lot. So and, uh, I, I, I trust Him. And is, if it's a day game, are you allowed to drink water during the game? Uh, no water. So during the whole game, no. will, will your minutes have to be controlled because of that? Uh, no, I think I'm fine because people don't know that I, I mean, I don't really tell this to many people because I just... I just I, I never told, told anyone, but I fast uh, during the season once or twice a week to get my body ready for Ramadan. So even like uh, during the season this year, last year, or the years before, I fast uh, once or twice a week uh, during the season. So I'm used to this. Do you think it's it's a little psychological that brings you inspiration? I, I I think so. I think it gives you so much uh, positive uh, positive. Uh, what do you say? Pos positive vibes that they, I mean, you just go out there and just, you know what, I'm doing this for God, so just God help me.